Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? <laughs> Impressive. You're very strong. What is it you want? You didn't come here to tell me that. You're right. Do you know the name Richter Belmont? Of the Belmont clan? Of course, but... He disappeared about a year ago, and I'm sure he's here. If you see him, please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, 
Open Hell's Gate! Come forth, my servants! The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle! <laughs> I'm certain that was a Belmont, so he says he's the lord of this castle.
Mother! That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother, no! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard. My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness. No, you're not my mother. What kind of demon are you? <laughs> you broke free of my spell. I like that. Demon, death is too good for you. Come here, little boy, and show me what you've got. I smell your blood. You're a vampire? Could it be... That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you!
I've been waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. If those are your true feelings, then so be it. Holy Cross! You've defeated me, but all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count Dracula is at hand. <laughs> So, you've made it this far. In the name of your father, cease this foolishness! Not while there's a breath in my body. Then for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. <laughs>
making it this far, I would expect no less from the son of our master. So you are the one who was controlling Belmont? Yes. I am the Dark Priest called Shaft. This world must be cleansed in the Forge of Chaos. Why did you make Belmont Lord of this castle? For centuries, vampire hunters have defeated evil with holy power. But if two vampire hunters were to fight each other... But Belmont's power is supreme among vampire hunters. None other could defeat him. Exactly. That's why I removed him as a threat, by making him into lord of this castle. But your plan has failed. Has it indeed? We'll see what happens after I destroy your weak human side. <laughs> No! You claim to love the darkness. Go then and dwell there for all eternity. But... but my goal is achieved! Count Dracula has come to purify this corrupt world with the searing flames of chaos. <laughs> Father. Well met, my son. It's been a long time. I was hoping we would not see each other again. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. You have ever been the ally of humans. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? Think you I would forget such a thing? No, but neither do I seek revenge against them. Still uttering the same nonsense. No matter. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side and join me in remaking this world! Dracula, in the name of my mother, I will defeat you again! Back whence you came. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. How? How? How is it that I've been so defeated? You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. Ah, uh, uh, sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 1626, I believe. Tell me, what, what were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me! Farewell, my son!